that's what it's all about with American Digger Magazine. We are here in Virginia and um, digging some relics. Let's see what else we can get. Okay, we're here in Virginia and digging a lot of pistol bullets. So, uh, right there, I feel it. Oh, it's a round, oh, it's a pistol ball. Pistol bullet, cold probably. Most of them seem to be colds. I got kind of an iffy signal here and I started kicking away and digging a little bit and um, it got a whole lot better. I've got the dirt loosened up, it's in the hole. Let's see what it is. A lot of iron in here, by the way. Oh, did I see something? Ah. Oh, look at that. That, my friends, is a button of some kind. It is, uh, it looks like an Eagle General Service. Yeah, got a good shank on the back. Hey, that's what, I, that's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, we have broke the ice. This is my first relic of the weekend. It's really been an unusual weekend in that respect for me because it's been tough, but um, at least we've got an Eagle button. Maybe it's got a letter on it, can't tell yet. We'll find out later. Still in a hole. Loose dirt. Got, oh, we got a coin of some kind. We're in a Civil War site, so maybe I've got a token of some sort. Let's see if we can tell what this is. You're looking at it for the first time like me. Yeah, let's hope it's not a stinking Lincoln. We're gonna have to clean this up and see what it is. Looks like it may be an Indian head, it's hard to say. We'll find out a little later on. That's in Virginia with American Digger Magazine. Okay, we're out here in the wilds of Virginia. I'm with Heath Jones um, from American Diggers Relic Roundup and also from Treasure Mountain Metal Detectors and what you got, buddy? All right, so far, get turned right. So far, I've got that eagle button. Oh yeah, and is that an eagle eye? It almost looks well, like Well, it eye. almost looks like it. I didn't wanna. Yeah. It's missing the shank on the back, yeah, but it has the back off. on it. Yeah, so that's not that's, Yeah, so I got that. I got that rivet. Oh yeah. And I'm not sure what that was. It was ringing up really uh, good. It looks like uh, probably a broken CS buckle. It probably is. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. about my luck. And there we that have a drop up. three ringer. Yep. Hadn't cleaned the base out yet, so. Ah, uh, could. Could, could be. be Washington Arsenal. Kind of a thick base for that though, yeah. so they're usually kind of thin. But yeah. you never know. I have a I have a hard time finding Washington Arsenal bullets up. Well, here. unless you're hunting in Virginia, you aren't gonna find many. I found but a few we're up here. in Virginia, here. and I still have a hard time finding them. I find every bullet I find up here seems to be just a regular yep. three ringer. Well, it's still the most common, but yeah. the star base Washington Arsenals yeah. are neat. And Oh, my want list is one of the U.S. based ones. You might find one of those up there. Oh, that'd be good. Yep. Scott Duncan's probably, probably all of his are U.S. and, and uh, uh, No doubt, no base, doubt. So. Um, we've seen him Plenty. find bullets in parking lots. Yeah, the guy, I mean, he's just sort of a freak. He's, he's attuned into the... Well, uh, he's a nice freak. Yeah, he is, but he, he's just He's a, not a geek freak. He's yeah, just a He just, just finds bullet bullets. Freak. I don't know. They just they jump out of the ground to him. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so. They just jump out of the ground and giving up. Yeah. They're yeah. surrendering. Yeah. Oh, they may okay. roll down that ravine, though. Now, we I'm thinking that, too, and I haven't had the energy to get down there, but I'm thinking down that ravine is going to be... You know, I tell you what, big loaded. boys, when it comes to finding relics, us big boys uh, get uh, get pretty motivated. So We do, and it's easy for us to go down in ravines. Yeah. It's hard. Coming, it's coming back get, up may be difficult. I'm going to get you guys to pick me up coming back out. you got to come along in a rope. That's it. <laughs> okay, let's go find some relics. Okay, we're out here hunting in Colonial, Virginia. We've got Ed Huffman, who's just made a great find. What you got there, Ed? Well, 
find equal to one cent. Excellent. Here. He reads eight. Can't get the date just yet, but we'll get it cleaned up. It'll be there. Hopefully it'll be a key date. Well, they weren't made very many years, so that's might a great find. Might pay for my trip out here. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and myself, I'm still waiting. Hey, look at that. That's a face made for TV, and this is a face made for radio. And we're ready to kill Steve for his gold coin. <laughs> Yeah, my wife, my wife loves it, so we got to get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go to the back. First signal, first hole. Look at that. Frost still coming out of the mouth early in the morning. Merck, Silva in the Park in Virginia. Kiss it. Hey, everybody. Give me oh, he swallowed the coin. <laughs> don't swallow it. Man. You don't know where that's been. <laughs> okay, we're here at the Colonial Hunt in um, February 2016 and got a good one here found by somebody I know, which is, yes, a gold coin. Gold one dollar piece. And the guy that found it is Steve Moore of Garrett. Woo! First one. He's too famous for TV. Sorry, you have a mouthful of food. That's all right. And he's going to give it to me because he's just such a good guy. Oh, wait, he's giving me the look. I got a free subscription to American Digger for this. <laughs> you do. Yes, you do. Absolutely. <laughs> Who knows? That might be a cover shot. Woo. Got Ed Huff on there. And we got Joe from Treasure Mountain Detectors. And I've got two wheat pennies. <laughs> we were talking about him. He's found a gold coin, and he's the only one in our group. But I asked Larry Hockman, my old hunting buddy, okay, Larry, tell me about your gold coins. Have you found any? I yes. found two $1 gold pieces. <sighs> okay, tell me about the one in the schoolyard. The first one I dug is back in the 80s, and it was in a ball field. We found some relics in. And it's on Thanksgiving weekend, the kids were out there playing, and I got this signal, a little shallow signal. Up. Pop the grass up and check the hole and one anything in there. I look in the roots of the grass and I see this gold thing. And I thought it was a pull tab and I look and it's a gold one dollar gold piece. And I told the kids, kids, it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> Get the heck out of there. <laughs> okay, well there you have it. That's some. Uh, I don't even want to talk about the ones I haven't found. Jeff Lubert's found a gold coin. Oh hush. <laughs> yes, Jeff Lubert's found a gold coin, which. He's our co-host on Relic Roundup. That's right. That's right. That's right. You put a guest on there one here. time too. Larry was a guest. I yep. feel so bad you only want me back. <laughs> oh no, we we gotta get you back on there. We will. We absolutely will. Every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's exactly right. Same bat channel, same, same bat time. <laughs>